Welcome back to another episode of Music Production School Online, which are quick music production tutorials to make your music sound better. On this quick one, I'm basically going to show you how to use VST3 files in Ableton. It's super annoying to me that there's like VST files and VST3. I wish they were the same, but whatever. Nothing I can do. So <laughs> we're going to go first to Finder. So the first thing you want to do is make sure VST3 files are in the right location. So I'm first going to go to Finder. I'm going to go to Preferences and make sure that basically my MacBook Pro is selected. Because if I do this, you notice it's not there. By default, for some reason, it's not appeared on your Finder, so you do have to kind of select it. I am then going to go to my MacBook Pro, Macintosh HD, Library, Audio, Plugins. I'm going to make this bigger. I go to VST3. These are all my files. I'm just going to drag and drop in the VST3 that I want. So in this case, it's Synology. So now I know it's in the right location. So now I'm going to go to Ableton. So I'm going to load it up. And the one thing I want to say is that I just basically put that VST3 file in Ableton. If basically you haven't done that yet, and let's say you have Ableton open and you just moved it, you do want to rescan. I'll show you how to do that. So now that's all loaded up, I'm just going to go to Preferences. And actually, I'm going to go here. So if you notice, when I go to Plugins first, I have Extra, Main, and Review. So I basically have my VST files organized. So you don't see any VST3 files. So I want to go to Preferences. And if you notice, then I have used VST3 plugin system folders. If you're using a custom folder, you can kind of select it. I just think it's easier. Keep everything in the default locations on your computer. I think it just makes organization a lot easier. So I'm just going to select on. Now, if you notice now, under plugins, I now have two new selections. I have VST and now VST3. Now, like I was saying basically when I first loaded up Ableton, if let's say you already did this, and let's say you already kind of loaded up the VST basically plug in folder and you just moved a new one in, it might not appear under here. So you basically have to rescan. All rescanning does is saying, hey, I happen to put a new plugin in the folder while Ableton was open. So rescan so you can find it. So then as you can notice, I have my VSTs here. And then obviously the main point of this is now I have VST3 here. So now I can use any one of these. So obviously, you know, Xenology was the one basically I put in, but this is easy how now you can use any VST3 file in Ableton.